Hey there, friend. So this video is one that a lot of people have been asking me for since I shared that demo video. I'm showing this because I want to show it's not any form of witchcraft or wizardry, and this is specifically for non-techies. So don't worry, no coding will be required. Now, before I jump into the tutorial to show you how to build an interactive avatar, let me break down the difference between an interactive avatar and a standard one. And that's because I got a lot of comments that showed me that many of you have no clue about some of this tech that is available at your disposal today and probably read a lot of the headlines and not enough of what's going on beneath that. So anyway, let's start with what you know now. And for most people, that's standard AI avatars. You know what I'm talking about, the ones you've probably seen the past few years, you know the score of these. You pick a character, you pick a voice, you give it a script to voice over, your terrible e-learning project. Oh, sorry, I misspoke. I meant your content, of course. And that's what we know as these kind of classic AI avatars. And you've probably used it, you've probably seen it. It does have good use cases, don't get me wrong. If designed well, it's mostly that we fall to the level of our ideas with this stuff and we spend too much time trying to turn this or turn powerpoint presentations or pdfs into this stuff so that's normal avatars or standard avatars interactive avatars are the opposite of this so there are no scripts and that's the biggest thing people keep saying to me with the video is this scripted have you just given it a script none at all so yes you can still pick a character and a voice, or you can clone yourself if you're one of the vein among us, but that's where the similarities stop. And that's because an interactive avatar runs on two sources, okay? And those two sources are a large language model, or LLM for short. So in this case, it's OpenAI's GPT-40 mini model, or whatever is the cheapest at that moment in time, and a knowledge base. So knowledge base is basically a set of instructions that can be quite detailed and probably should be, to be honest, and a set of sources. So sources can be videos, they can be documents, they can be audio files, they can be loads of different things. So if any of you have created custom GPTs or general AI assistants, you'll be pretty familiar with this back in setup. So essentially what this is, is a large language model with a face and a voice, and you refine its focus by providing sources in a knowledge base that it uses to interact with and answer questions from users. Now we've got that out of the way, let's jump into the tutorial and build an interactive avatar together. And we'll also look at how can you share this wherever you want in the realms of using the free plan that we're going to. The caveat will be if you wanna do more, you've gotta put up some of that dollar dollar for a pro plan. But let's switch over and let's go straight into the tool now and talk about what it is, how you use it, and how can you do this experiment yourself? Okay, so we are actually already at our starting point and we're on the platform HeyGen. So before we can do anything, you need to sign up for a free HeyGen account. You don't need to pay anything at the moment unless you wanna go beyond the experimentation that we do today. I will let you take care of that part yourself and come back and continue this video. Depending on where you're viewing this, if it's on YouTube, the link is in the video description. You can also just do a classic Google search for HeyGen and find that there as well. Now, once you're signed up, you will land on a page that looks a lot like this here. We have lots of things to play with, but we're gonna be really focused and we wanna click on this interactive avatar you see here. So once we click that, we will jump into what I call kind of the builder screen or what Heijin calls the avatar studio. And there's a couple of things that we're gonna walk through here. So first things first is on this screen, you get some examples of how this tool works. So you can check out some of those examples you can look at some of the pre-made avatars, which are here. So these are called public avatars, which we will use later on. And you can create your own avatar as well. However, for that last one, you're going to need to have a pro plan. So we're going to avoid that in this demo today. 
So we're just going to use a pre-made avatar in this demo, which is available in the public avatar library. So really, really simple. But before we get to that point, we need to create our knowledge base. So how we do that is really simple. On the left hand side here, you can see we've got these options for avatars, knowledge base and integration guide. Integration guide we we'll, won't really cover in this video, but we can talk about that another time. So we want to go to our knowledge base. And this could be optional depending upon your goals. If you just want to play around with an interactive avatar, my advice to you is go to the examples here, pick one, see how they work, share it with your team. However, if you want to build one yourself and you want to use it for a specific example to use in your company as a prototype or to share with a stakeholder, this is what you should do. And this is the most important part of the video for those of you who want to do this. So let's navigate over to our knowledge base here and you can see there's some example knowledge bases that i'm, I'm not going to look at because they're just generic ones but you can use if you want to and we are going to go to curate new so completely brand new a to z process now as i'm in workplace l and d and i'm assuming most of you watching this are we're going to focus on a use case in this world now the previous demo video I had shared a knowledge base with specific instructions to help me enhance my critical thinking as a human working with AI. And I also used a bunch of links from other blogs that I'd written, from newsletters that I'd written as the useful links to go in here. So we are gonna do that now from scratch. So first things first, from a user experience standpoint, what I would highly recommend you do is to write a quick intro so when people first land on this screen of an avatar and like, oh my God, what is this thing? The avatar can converse with them to say, hey, this is who I am and what I do. So what I'm going to do is say, hey there, human. How can I help you today with expanding your critical thinking with AI. And we'll, we'll leave that at that for now. You can write whatever you want. Again, demo purposes here. So useful links. So what I'm going to do is just drop in some links that I've got from previous newsletters and we'll have that as part of the knowledge base. So let me just do that real. Okay, so we've just posted that link in here that you can see here and that is a link to the newsletter that I've done. Now, the next part is we need to put in a prompt or a set of instructions for how this avatar will work. What I would suggest you to do is to go back to the screen previous on the knowledge base and look at some of the examples that already exist because they're pretty comprehensive. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to write a couple of lines and then we're going to work with HeyGen to rewrite with guidance. But what you can also do before that is You've got this little section at the top here, which is called tips. So if we press tips here, we'll be taken to a lovely brand new screen that will expand. And it gives us a whole guide into prompting our interactive avatar. And you can see here, there's a bunch of guidance for you. And it's pretty detailed, which is good. So it talks about persona, instructions, all the limits, how it is natural, goals, knowledge, quite comprehensive. So look, if you are actually doing this in terms of a product that you want to build or something in your organization outside of experimentation for demo, definitely check this out. But for now, what we are going to do is basically just say, what do I, what do I want this internet avatar to do? And we'll get it to rewrite with guidance. So I'm just going to say, you are a helpful Let's say coach that aims to help users understand how they can still think critically with AI and expand their skills in this domain. Only use these instructions and your knowledge source 
sources to answer questions. Wherever it will listen to me is another story. So now we've done that, really, really simple. We're just gonna click rewrite with guidance. And then what we'll see here is helping me to do that. That's a little bit of a pain. I thought it was just gonna do it for me as it did before, but it's not. So in terms of the persona, what is their name, personality, or background? I'm not going to give it a name, but I'm going to say uh, background is a critical thinking coach, if any of that exists. I could put knowledge if I want to. So it's already got the knowledge sources that I've put in. So I'll leave it there. Um, and then instructions. Provide instructions that avatar should act. So I'm just going to say, Act in a helpful manner as a guide slash coach that enables users to break down their questions and understand the ew. let's just do that properly and understand the importance of critical thinking with a I. I'll get Grammarly to save me there. Okay, so let's preview that full prompt. Cool, so it's done that. That's not, not as amazing as I thought it was gonna to be, to be honest, but in terms of the demo, you can see where we go here. You can play around with that. You can tweak that. You can add way more in than what I've done. So we're just gonna hit save and apply there. Da, 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 da. And I'll take a little bit of time because it's looking at my knowledge sources, which is fine. And again, like I say, for a really high level product, you need to spend more time than what I'm doing here. This is for a demo purpose. So I'm just showing you how to quickly do this. But creating something that you really want to be helpful is uh, is going to be different. So we can see here already it's taken in the article that I've given it. And it's looking at questions there. So we're just going to save that link result. We're just going to hit save and apply again. And that should save my new knowledge base, which it has done. But really, really quickly, as an example, if we jump into this language learning partner, what you want to build in terms of instructions is something like this, which is much more detailed than what I've done. So take these as an example and then tweak them to what you are trying to do. And again, use the guidance that HM provides. And you can see here, this is pretty meaty as it should be. If you wanna build something good, something really useful, you can do that. Okay, so we've got our knowledge base sorted out. So next we wanna go back to avatars. We wanna pick the face and the voice and the look. So what we are going to do is keep in line of what I did in the previous video, which I'll link to where I showed the demo of the avatar. So we see the public avatars and let's just find the one I was using. Da, da, da. Okay. So there was Rika sitting in the chair. So we'll chat and then you can see here, I've just didn't change the name I should have done, but I've got new knowledge base. So my new knowledge base is there, it's connected, which is lovely. And then I can chat with that avatar, which I'm not gonna do here because I've done it in the previous video. So in terms of doing this start to end, this is how you do it. Of course, I have speed run through this to an extent. So spend more time on the different stages to get a better product, but this is gonna give you a, an opportunity to experiment, to build and work with this kind of technology. And as a bonus from a free perspective, what you can do if you want to is you can embed this elsewhere. So we can just click embed. You can embed that as a standalone website on something that you're already doing. Bear in mind it is free, so you won't get much from it. You can share it as well. So you can just share it, like I said, again, just on the separate landing page, which I will do for this. So wherever you're viewing this video, there'll be a link in the comments and you can play around with this avatar yourself. If you want to get geekier than that in terms of using the inner product or building your own product, you need to be working with, as it says here, the Hagen API and SDK. That is out of the remit of this video. It is more detailed. It's very possible 
and it can be done it's not rocket science but out of the realm on this because i know 99 percent of you watching this will just be using the simple embed or share as an experimentation so folks that's it if you found this helpful share it with your friends your colleagues and maybe even your enemies if you want to tag me into any questions and if you want more content like this there's a number of ways that you can do that so one stalk me on linkedin it's any social media that i have follow the still these thoughts youtube channel which does exist there's loads of these videos on here showing you how to do these experiments with ai in lnd i also have a weekly newsletter also called still these thoughts where i share everything with lnd hr and talent teams that you need to know about leveraging current and emerging technology which ai is a part of that as well so look, all that's left for me to say is thank you for watching and I'll speak to you in the next one. Gracias.